we're finally at the point where we're gonna start we're gonna start putting together some of the uh, the water filter stuff I don't know how this is gonna go you have an idea though kind of have an idea it's probably the best one yeah I think we're gonna start by putting the connectors on get all that done out here and then we'll start fitting stuff together in the tiny little compartment This is the middle filter. This is the first filter. So the input side. This is output. This is input. What you got there? Thread tape. Teflon thread tape. Which for these threads, you're usually not, they say don't use them on plastic, like you don't need to, but these ones feel like they're really sloppy threads, so I'm going to use a bunch of tape. Just so that we don't have, because once we put all this together, I really don't want to have leaks. Yeah. It goes in nice and smooth. This one. You always wrap the thread so that when you screw it in, the tail goes so that if you if you wrap it the other way, the tail will bunch up and you try to screw it in. Ah. Quick note, we'll put together a video at the end of this whole build process for the shower system with a parts list and sort of explain everything that we learned and everything that we found out we needed and didn't need because things are changing as we go along. Like, don't use Teflon tape on PVC pipe. Use pipe dope made for PVC pipe because otherwise it will leak. We had leaks. Back to the video. Gotta figure out how many valves we're gonna need. I bought four, but I should go. Sketch it out real quick. So we're going to come in with the two. Both of these needed to be valves, so they're not check valves. So valve one, valve two. So hot water comes out, goes like this, goes through, back to the cold. Cold is teed in here. So shower system. We've painstakingly gone through all of our components and put PEX connectors on them. Um, along with putting PEX connectors on, we've also painstakingly realized that we ran out of parts or didn't kick up the right thing, so we've gone back to the store multiple times. <laughs> but I think we finally have everything. We're gonna start uh, laying stuff out to connect some of the pieces because I think we're gonna see so came up with the idea to connect stuff outside and then put it into the cupboard so that we're not like crawling up in there trying oh, to connect yep. stuff Hopefully it's a much it better works. idea we hope so here's what we have okay we have fresh water coming from the shower as both cold and hot. So we're interrupting the supply, cold and hot. We're going through an elbow and then a T and then we have a valve, another T and then an elbow. And this goes back as 
the hot supply. And then this cold supply is mirrored. And that goes back. And the reason is we're taking the hot supply and so when it's in loop mode, this will close and this will close. Hot water will go out, go into our heat exchanger, come back to the cold supply, and then go back to the water heater. And then our recirculated filtered water will come in as cold. We'll have hot coming out of here to the hot line, and that will go up to the shower, curb, to the shower uh, nozzle. So that's the idea. That's what we're playing. That's what we're trying to do first, making that little bit. Yeah? Yeah. And this thing right here is the heat exchanger. This is like a hy hydronics or... Hydroponic? Hydro I don't remember what they call it, but for radiant floors. This is a heat exchanger. Oh. Your uh, hot supply comes in here and goes through. Your cold supply comes through and comes out hot at the top. And it's inside, it works its magic to transfer the heat from the hot to the cold. So we got this beast, it's ready, it's got PEX connectors. Now we just gotta start assembling it. I think. <laughs> Let's hope this works. <laughs> By the way, all this stuff, if you're thinking about putting one of these together, off-the-shelf components, 12, 1300 bucks so far. Why are you looking at me? I didn't buy this. <laughs> I'm looking for you going. What? So we're gonna start assembling things. assembling. Hey, look at that. So this will have a check valve here and this will be the return. So this will close when it's in loop mode and that will allow this to go out to the heat exchanger and will allow this to come into the shower head. So Woo. there we go. Now to make the other one? Now we have to make a second one for the cold supply. This is our cold water and hot water setup. So, gotta keep it all straight because I know I'm gonna connect something wrong if now I don't. Now what? <laughs> now what do we do? Now what do we do? Figure the biggest thing that has to go in is the tank. So we should probably get the tank set up so it's got this spot for a one and a half inch um, pipe to come in, but it's not drilled out yet. And I really hope I don't screw up the threads. I think this will fit in just right. Is it intended to not be drilled? Yeah, because then you have a tank with a giant hole in it you have to plug if you don't use it for that. Oh, I see. Although they drilled all the other holes, so who knows. Here's the hoping. That looks beautiful. That was good. Um, I think we should probably also, 
rinse the tank out so we don't have plastic in all of our stuff. Oh, yeah. Just hose it off and everything. Okay. Oh, here's clear silicone coating. Let's use that instead. You want me to get my knife? Sure. Oh, well, you we have one out here. Or we could just use this. Yeah, just cut it. Take an angle. Woo! There we go. Let's see, I'm gonna fill some in here. I wonder how old this stuff is. Yeah, do you think it's dried up? Possibly. And I'll explode out the back. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, so we're not gonna use this kind of stuff. Let me see what we got here. Wow, oh, it's solid. It smells I mean, like silicone. The but... tube is still squishing, kind of, but I think it's squishing around it. Okay, go back to this stuff. I like really want to find something to stick in there. I kind of want to cut it open. There we go. That sliced right through it. Oh, yeah. Is it all solid? Pretty much? Yeah. Oh, crazy. It's old though. I mean, this is from when... It was from Miguel, yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think of this? Hey. Wow, that's a smell. Here's why that wasn't working. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. We might need a couple more connectors. I think I underestimated again. hardware store didn't have the right fitting. So it's a different thread type. It mostly fits, but we put caulking all in the threads. <laughs> and this tank is not under pressure, so that should work for a plug. So we hope. So then we got drain valve coming in from the shower, air vent, this is gonna go outside, and then this will go to the pump. So I think since these are all PEX fittings, might test fit it because I think we don't I don't know if we have to connect a bunch of pipe to it right now or mm, go first it. just see what it mm. see if it fits and then I gotta crawl up in here it's dark <sighs> and I didn't bring a flashlight no, there's ash falling because it's up in the oh, trees sure. and on top of the roof and everything. Okay. Can we do it with the pack? Um, or do you no. want to attach the pump to all the tubes? Maybe we'll just leave it in here loose mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, dry fit all the, the piping and cut it to length. Yeah. Attach it, then slide this thing in with the correct lengths. Yeah. We'll want to strap it down too. It's tight little... in here. This will fit nice though. That'll go there. Come on out. Some apple. No. 